the enemy is a worthy adversary. He's not a slouch in what he does. He, he knows how to get us over to his side. He knows what to do. He's a worthy adversary. He has conquered. We've seen saints walk out of the church and we're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You've been here for 50 years. What are you doing? But the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life finally got them. He knew what to offer them. He knew how to offer them. You don't have to do that at this church. You can come over here and do that. You don't have to stay all holy at this church. You don't have to do that anymore. Righteousness is still not righteousness anymore. Holiness isn't holiness anymore. This, that's not the image of holiness anymore. This is 2015. Why are you still walking around like that? We know you at the side. They look at us, they know we at the side. They know who we are. <laughs> They look at us and tell me, I stop. Ooh, Rooster is on the floor and she got sneakers on. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows what to offer us. I'm going to summarize from here on out. Hezekiah was presented with the Assyrian army saying, I'm going to conquer you. I'm going to take you away from this land if you don't give up right now. Hezekiah knew what to do. Young people, it's time we know what to do. We know what to do. We have been taught and taught well. We have had example after example after example of what to do to overcome our situations. We know how to get out of turmoil. Mm -hmm. The Bible says there is no temptation that is taking you that such as is common to man, but God is faithful who will make a way of escape. There's always a way of escape. There's always a way out of your situation if you trust in God. If you trust in God. The title of our message today is The Time is Right. Brother Brown, what is the time right for? The time is right for me to get myself together and do what I know I should do. If too much time has gone by, there's purpose for each and every one of us. God has so much purpose and intention for us, and his time is now. Hezekiah knew what to do. When the Assyrian army came and they spoke to the people on the wall, they told them all the good things, they told them what he was going to do, Hezekiah said, I'm going into the house of the Lord. And he went to the house of the Lord and he sent for his leader. He sent for the prophet and said, this is what uh, 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 Sennacherib is saying that he's going to do. What do I do? What do I do? Isaiah said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You resisted the enemy this time, and he is going to turn around. He's gonna. He's got to go back to his land. The Lord is going to send a blast, and he's got to go fight some other people. He's going to leave you for a season. The first time we, we do it, you know, we kind of bolster our faith in God. Yes, yeah, so the Lord answered this time. The Lord answered me through the prophet this time. And I'm so grateful because I wasn't strong enough to handle it at that moment. But I heard the word of the Lord and I was able to deal with it. Why? Because I did what I knew that I had to do. I had to go into the house of the Lord. I may not have been able to seek the Lord for myself just yet, but I knew who to send for. The Bible says, as you bring your sick among you, call for the elders of the church. When we're sick in our minds, and we're going through those situations that are plaguing us. We're going through issues. We as young people are going through real issues. I'm not going to play with you. We're going through real stuff. The enemy is attacking us like never before. We see it in every TV show that we watch. We can't watch anything on TV without the enemy attacking us in every specific way that makes us want to do what the world is doing. The enemy is attacking us. He's not playing with us anymore. He's at our doorstep each and every day. Every day. What am I to do when the enemy's there every day? Every day. He ain't turning around no more. What am I supposed to do, God? I keep coming to the house of the Lord. I keep getting a word from the Lord. I keep getting a word from the past. I'm trying to trust you. I really am. I really am. But it's here again. Yes, Lord. It's here again, God. And what do I do with it now? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. What are you saying now, God? What am I supposed to do now? He's here again.
Speak, Lord. All right, Lord, you sent them away this time. They came back. back. He's back now. And he's sending word. And the word says this. And it came to pass when Hezekiah heard of it, he went into the house of the Lord, skipping down. So the service of King Hezekiah, I don't know, chapter 19, verse 5. So the service of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah. And Isaiah said to them, Thus saith the Lord, Thus shalt thou say unto the Lord, Thus saith thou met. Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words which thou hast heard, which the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon them, and they shall hear a rumor, and they have to go back to the land. In short. But then he defies God again in verse number eight. So Rashikah turned and found the king of Assyria warring against another. Verse 9. And when he heard say of Tirkia, and he turned back, but he sent messengers again to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall you speak to Hezekiah. This is what our problems are doing to us. King of Judah, saying, Let not thy God and whom thou trust deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. You're going to fall to me eventually. You're going to give in to me eventually. Have the gods of the nation. And he goes on to reiterate his conquest. He reiterates it again and again. And Hezekiah received the letter of the hand of the messengers. And this is what it's time to do for us now. This is our our deliverance at this time. And Hezekiah received the letter of the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to do to our problems. We can't let our problems seem so grandiose and like they're going to take over our lives. We've got to spread our problems before God and say, God, this is my problem, but this is who you are. This is what uh, uh, Hezekiah said. Thank you. I'm sweating too much for y'all. Huh? And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwelleth between the cherubims, thou art God. I got to tell my problem that sometimes. God, you're God. Yes, Lord. Thou art God. Even thou alone. Of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. Lord, bow down thy ear. But uh, back up. Hezekiah had a worship session. We go through our problems and we, Lord Jesus, Lord, I don't know you, Lord. It's time now. This is the time now for us to get ourselves together. Hezekiah cried the first time. He ran his garment, sat off some ashes. This time he had a worship session before the Lord and said, Lord, you are God. You're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I could ever ask to think. According to the power that worketh within me, God, you are God. You can do everything. Yes, Lord. You can handle my situation. You can tear down the strong towers. You can rip down the high places of my life. God, you are God. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, I thank you. You are God. You made this earth. You made that king. You made him. Now, therefore, our Lord God, I beseech you. I'm sorry, I'm too far. Lord, bow down thine ear and hear. Oh, Lord, open up thy eyes and see. And hear the words of Sennacherib, which have sent him to reproach the living God. Lord, here's my problem. You take care. Of the truth, Lord, the kings of Assyria have destroyed the nation. God, and he's right. He's done all this in all this time before. But you're God. Of the truth, the kings of Assyria have done all these things and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods but the work of man's hands. 19. Now, therefore, O Lord, our God, I beseech thee, save thou us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms, that all the kingdoms of the earth, may know that thou art God. Why are they going to know that he's God? Because I'm going to tell it when I get through. I'm going to testify that the Lord has delivered me. I'm going to shout it from the mountaintop that God is able that he's done for me what he's done for others. That what he did for the brothers, he did it for me too. I'm going to shout it so everybody can know the God that I serve. So the enemy can I serve a God. What did God do? This story is just so good. I have to read it. 
Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent to Hezekiah. Yes, he didn't even talk to Isaiah this time. Yes. But God sent the word. We got our worship session on at home in the shower. When we were just fed up, we were sick and tired of being 